David Ornstein has spoken about Jokerez and Arsenal's pursuit of Jokerez. What he's actually said, I don't know, but let's get straight into it, people. Now, if we go on this article, allegedly, David Ornstein has provided a significant update on Arsenal's rumoured interest in sporting Lisbon striker Victor Jokerez, and I'm sure a lot of you would like him at the football club, ahead of a potential transfer next summer. The Swedish forward has been in scintillating form, igniting speculation about a move to the Premier League. He's linked with everyone. Arsenal reportedly are in search of a top tier number nine strengthening their attacking options and are monitoring Jokerez who has consistently delivered exceptional performances apart from when he played us but we'll allow him the Gunners are exploring forward reinforcements due to Gabriel Jesus' struggles in stepping up as their main striker following Kai Havertz's resurgence in the role the Swedish international has been a revelation for sport in Lisbon last season he netted an astonishing 43 goals and provided 15 assists across all comps playing a crucial role in securing the Le Le Liga Portugal title. Apologies. This season, the 25-year-old has already contributed 29 goal involvements in 22 matches for sporting across all competitions. On the international stage, Jokerez has tallied 13 goal contributions in just six UA for Nations League appearances for Sweden, underlining his status as one of the most prolific forwards in world football. Sport and Lisbon are determined to retain their star striker and have no intention of selling him on the cheap. Jokerez is under contract until 2028 with a release clause set at 83 million while the Portuguese side is open to negotiations they are reportedly seeking a minimum of 63 million for the forward despite the buzz surrounding Arsenal's interest Ornstein revealed that the North London club have not made any formal advances towards Jokeres at this stage speaking on the back pages podcast Ornstein downplayed the likelihood of a January move for the Swede, which we all know we're not going to, for all the hype, we're not signing these big boy signings in January. We've seen with, when we tried to, we didn't get them, but we tried to bid for Vlahovic, uh, Mudrik, Kaiseido, we're prepared to, it's probably naive. I mean, he's got to be on the list, people. But again, maybe there's indirect contacts happening, not just with Arsenal for Jokeres, but all other strikers of, and, and other clubs interested. But in terms of an impending move, especially if you're not going to activate his release clause, and at this moment, there doesn't appear a willingness to join Arsenal, does it really happen? Nonetheless, allegedly, David Ornstein said, naturally speculation around Arsenal because of striker. I don't know of Arsenal making advancements towards him and developing anything that may change, but I'm not sure the profile is what they're looking for as a priority or the price point. So I wouldn't say that's a particularly hot one unless stuff changes. I reckon we still go for Sesco, who's had a mixed campaign, a slow campaign individually and collectively. Although at the time of making this video, he scored a cracker. Apparently, he, he emphasised that while Jokerez is undoubtedly one of the most informed forwards in world football, Arsenal appeared to be considering a range of options for their attack and may not be actively pursuing the striker at this time. Some of you quite rightly probably say, when we've got no sporting director, are we really making movements? I don't know. Allegedly, Ornstein also hinted at a potential future interest from Manchester United, predicting the Red Devils may target Jokeres in 2025. However, their ability to secure the deal could depend on their financial situation. There's no doubt this is the informed player in world football right now, certainly in the central forward position. It's remarkable how much he has progressed since Coventry City. Now, reports from Spain are saying he's expected to leave in the summer, yet with the January transfer window looming, there are reports of a desperate club line, lining up to land the Sweden international. Apparently, PSG explored the possibility of signing him. Now, you would have seen Luis Enrique kind of played that down. Apparently, people... Um, Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United are all monitoring the situation. So it depends where you read, what you read, and if you believe it, people. Saliba allegedly, courtesy of this article, plays future to Arsenal as Liverpool fired Premier League title warning. We need to win our games. And at the time of making this vid, we just need to deal with Fulham and what's ahead of us, people. What has he said? He said, um, yes, of course, I feel at home. I signed for the club five years ago, but it's only my third season and I'm enjoying everything. The players, the staff and the fans, I feel at home. So, of course, why not? Again, the 23-year-old is still being linked with Real Madrid. We probably need to give my man a new deal. He then said, everything is possible. The season is very long and we've experienced that in the past two years. We just have to focus on ourselves. We're still only in December, so there are still a lot of things that can happen. I mean, Saliba's never headed his intentions of collectively as a team wanting to win trophies, individually wanting to win trophies and when compared to Van Dijk and these you know top class world class centre backs he has mentioned trophies people so it is what it is the man is also well he was speaking out Arsenal community things so big him up he also bigged up Gabriel Magalhaes who's also amazing people if I'm honest with you 
and he, he did say people um since the first day i signed i played with him i enjoyed every game he's massive massive defender is so good in every aspect but if we want to be all-time great defenders where everyone remembers us we have to win trophies we haven't done it yet but we'll give everything to achieve that on Arsenal, he said, yes, since we've been back, we've been playing better football and we have to keep going. We're so happy to be scoring goals, but we can see a lot of goals as well, which is true. It's not good enough, especially last weekend against West Ham, where we were winning 4-0. We didn't have to concede two goals just after. I think we have to do much better defensively. I uh, agree with that. I think we've dropped off a cliff defensively, if I'm honest with you. And that goes for the whole team, not just obviously the defenders. Um, on Mikel Arteta, he was with us telling us we are still a really good team. It was a tough moment, but he gave us a lot of confidence to get back playing the way we are. And he was right because since the Chelsea game, we are playing better, winning games and scoring a lot of goals. We can still improve, but Mikel helped us, gave us a lot of confidence that Arsenal, we can turn things around. We're still linked with Cunha of Wolves. Allegedly, people were in very early negotiations over a move from Cunha. And apparently those within the Emirates Stadium regard the 44 million Wolves signing as a perfect complement to their already a, a potent attacking line i don't know if i should read that because I, I i mean read into that because i feel he's the next one if it's not him it's kudos it's yokarez it's isaac you know it, it just feels like that and our wolves gonna get rid of him in jan you know imagine 44 million isn't the biggest of fees but we'll have to see smith rose fired a warning shot ahead of arsenal and you know War sorry Fulham are one of the most informed sides at the moment. Obviously, a will be our former boy, Smith Rowe. They're doing well. They've got Harry Wilson, Robertson, Marco Silva's doing well. We all remember they took four points off us last season. And again, we need to go on a run. He has warned Mikel Arteta and Arsenal who will be putting friendships aside when he takes on his old team for the first time tomorrow. It'll be more special at the Emirates. But I mean, do you expect him to say anything different? At 24, you want to be playing every week and getting opportunities. And it was getting to the point where I wasn't really getting opportunities anymore for whatever reason. I had to make the decision to move on. I'm getting my chances now and i'm really happy for it we got a good fee even though i wanted you to stay we got a good fee you're playing football it is what it is i obviously want to show them what they're missing out on in terms of being there and leaving but it's nothing personal i have so much love for them but i obviously want to win with fulham i thought it would be a lot harder than it's been it's actually been quite easy stay careful because life changes man i thought i I thought I'd be really upset and sad. It was obviously the hardest decision I've ever had to make, but definitely the right one. I feel like I've settled in really well and I'm really happy. Marco Silva has given me so much confidence, given me the freedom to just enjoy myself. And if I make a mistake, just go again. Big you up. Wish you all the best. Again, Arsenal are still being linked with a talented Brazilian people. Florian Plattenberg of Sky Germany said, I understand Victor Reyes is already a potential transfer target for Arsenal and Chelsea next summer. Chelsea are on their football manager thing, signing all these players. I'm not against another defender yes i would like an inside forward a striker a number eight sort out the goalkeeping situation beyond david Raya. both clubs are closely monitoring the 18 year old top talent from palmeiras central defender with a contract valued until 2028 so it's going to take an important fee to pip him away keeping up the theme with youngsters and actually arsenal and chelsea allegedly arsenal and chelsea are among the clubs with an interest in martin fernandez the port toll fullback is enjoying a breakout campaign with his boyhood club he's a local boy and has been with his side for a number of years though not yet a guaranteed starter at all times the 18 year old has already made 17 senior appearances this term which he has contributed with very encouraging four assists so far now when you look at it we have got great defensive depth but we've had to play benjamin white sometimes when he's had injuries and he's obviously got surgery zinchenko picks up knocks tomiyasu picks up knocks timber and califuri have to be a bit cute and clever at least for this season with their status so i wouldn't be against another defender and obviously you've got lewis skelly naturally Arsenal are going to be looking at young players scouting and monitoring him or scouts being present at Porto games doesn't necessarily we're going to move for him obviously we got Fabio Vieira on loan there um, according to TBR Football Fernandez has attracted the attention of several Premier League sides including Arsenal Chelsea and Liverpool now you look at Chelsea with Reese James's injuries you look at Trent with his contract maybe there's an opportunity there Real Madrid Paris Saint-Germain and you could probably bet your bottom dollar a whole host of clubs will be monitoring him in that you know I'm not going to read this but Mikel Arteta said we want to be the kings of everything he's had to answer so many questions in relation to us with set pieces people certain teams cry on Wednesday or whenever it was about set pieces and then you see it again at Old Trafford people uh, apparently Arsenal are expected to resist January approaches for Jacob Kivio and mid renewed interest from Europe shouldn't let him go mid season again every window he is someone that is linked with moves away respectfully to Kivio good squad player only really gets opportunities or runs in the side beyond the occasional minutes off the bench when people are injured or suspended like what we're seeing people um 
the same old clubs are linked with him. Napoli, AC Milan, Inter Milan, Juventus, you know, a whole bunch of Italian clubs. Every now and again, he's also linked with Sevilla and uh, Villarreal. As you can see there as well as Bologna people, they tried to sign him in Jan, nothing came of that. So we're going to have to see. But for now, to the end of the season, I wouldn't do it if I'm honest with you. We've been linked with Edison of Atalanta people as well. Again, being linked is another thing. Apparently, we've been quoted 50 million for the powerful Champions League midfielder. I wouldn't be against it. I like him a lot. Liverpool also said to have made contact. Now, everybody's linked with everyone. He's not exactly an eight, but yeah, he's a Tim Vickery, who's a well-respected South American region journalist. He's strong well-built central midfielder he's strong on the ball versatile box to box and has a strong personality not quite an eight but i wouldn't be against it because you hear Mikel arteta wants a six on the topic of sixes martin zubamendi is still linked with arsenal and liverpool allegedly he's planning to stay put in january and tbr football apparently says that real madrid remains zubamendi's preferred destination if and when he leaves jabby alonso apparently this is going to be his last season at leverkusen and he could go over there so i wonder if he'll follow his former manager really and truly because he gave him you know real big confidence at Sociedad so I have to see finally where Arsenal's women are concerned Renee Slager's uh, apologies for mispronunciation Defo butchered that is to stay in interim charge of Arsenal women until the winter break people so yeah let me know your thoughts don't forget to like comment and subscribe peace <laughs>